I'm counting fat people. Obese audience, you are the target of a terrorist conspiracy. There are beings in your spare tire crying out for revenge. Imagine I took a closer glimpse at my roll of fat, if I had any, and we looked through a microscope. We will see thousands of white spheres. The adipocytes, the cells responsible for storing the fat in the body, and those little bastards do their job very, very well. But they are misunderstood. You must think they want us to put on weight. No, they want us to be fit, like me. Look at this sexy body, sculpted by spinning on Latin rhythms. But imagine I follow a Tesco's pastry diet and I become obese. My adipocytes would store more fat. When a sphere increases its volume, its surface grows in a much smaller proportion. Our cells breathe and do so across their surface. Therefore, as the size of an adipocyte increases, its need for oxygen increases, but its ability to capture it grows at a much lower rate. This obese adipocyte and its mates are suffocating, but they take revenge. Yes, fat, so they do it. They send an SOS signal. <laughs> Attracting an army of thousands of cells from the immune system, putting up an inflammatory response. The role of fat of an obese person is inflamed, releasing molecules called cytokines, which are like missiles, which flow through the blood vessels and bombard our liver and muscles. Liver and muscles feed on glucose, which gets in through thousands of small doors like this. The key? Insulin. But cytokines dun 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 Lock the door. They block the lock. Insulin cannot open the door, so glucose cannot enter. Thus, while liver and muscles are starving, glucose builds up in the body. <laughs> so to restore some order, the pancreas, our hero, releases more insulin and more and more until it collapses. Type 2 diabetes mellitus. The revenge of the adipocytes. Because revenge is a dish best served with bacon. Thank you very much. <laughs>